came out there, and uh, Georgetown was really aggressive defensively. They did a great job defending our ball screens and forced us a little out of character on how we've been playing. We took a couple of tough shots and uh, you know, shooting 30% from the field and 15% uh, from the three in the first half just isn't going to cut it. Uh, we also got out rebounded by nine. Uh, so, uh, you know, the first half just wasn't good. We got to give Georgetown a lot of credit. They played great defense. I thought they were really active. They played tough and aggressive. I thought in the second half, uh, when we got, we just got down too much, uh, too many points. But our guys, I was very proud of them because uh, they just kept fighting and uh, you know, figured out a lineup uh, that we were comfortable with and something that was working. We stuck with it and uh, we were able to capitalize, but we just dug ourselves too big of a hole. Uh, but Georgetown's a good basketball team and uh, it was a tough game. You were, able to, you were able to run and jump in the second half to some success. Talk about the tension of between doing that and having such a short bench. Well, I think it was it was desperation. We were trying to get extra possessions, and uh, you know that's why we you know our small lineup. Uh, you know when we got stuck in the half court, uh, you know Hayes had an unbelievable <coughs> pounding us. So we thought that we could speed them up, maybe uh, turn them over, which we did. Um, uh, they're also you know a good foul shooting, team. and so uh, but it worked. Uh, we were able to you know. <coughs> Cut it, cut it close. We just just couldn't get that one more stop or make that one more shot. But our kids, I thought, really, really, uh, really worked and, and fought back. Mike, I know you've been preparing for this moment for a long time at some level, but what have the last few days been like and just kind of walking out there today? Was it strange? Uh, no, I mean, I, you know, I, I've been preparing myself uh, to be a head coach for uh, you know, 20 years. And, Always what I wanted to be, and um, I always visualized myself doing it. So, um, you know, I was excited. I was really excited, and to go out there, and, you know, first game ever versus, uh, you know, one of the greatest rivalries in college basketball, and been part of so many games it was kind of surreal. Uh, and um, but uh, obviously disappointed we lost. <coughs> Coach, was it marching orders or any? Last words of wisdom for You know, we, we play Syracuse basketball. I think I, I could tell tell you what time he eats breakfast, lunch, and dinner. And, uh, Jerry McNamara, Adrian, uh, our coaching staff. We've been with them, played with them. Uh, we we you know, stuck to the script of what we do, and uh, that's that's why we've been able to be successful for so many years. Coach, for a, for lack of a better word, was it kind of weird not having Chin there? And when you think about the future now, the next eight games, whatever is it, you know, going forward. You know, Coach Bayham, uh, I don't know if you saw, we had to sit next to him. To us. He's always with us at the end of the day. Uh, he built us, built the program. I wanted this one for tonight. Number one was able to give you some energy off the bench. Do you see a larger role for him going forward? You know, if this was a game uh, where Georgetown was playing very aggressive on ball screens, and, and Frank is our best penetrator uh, on the ball. And uh, you know, what he did is he got his opportunity, and he went out there and he performed. He was able to get in the lane, uh, <coughs> force Georgetown collapse, and get, get some of our shooters some shots. I thought he was very aggressive. Um, you know, Caleb Joseph came in the game. It was just, you know, every game's going to be different for those guys. You know, Caleb has the ability to make open shots, and he sparked us the other night against Wisconsin. Frank, I thought, gave us a spark tonight. And, uh, you know, he was, he, he showed a lot, I think. You know, we, you know, Syracuse basketball is, you know, obviously we try to win every game. And after the game, we go watch film, uh, and then we focus on the process. You know, what are we going to do? What are we going to do to get better? I thought defensively in the first half, we made some poor decision, assignment decisions on shooters, uh, especially in the shot clock. It's tough to play 30 seconds of defense or 28 seconds of defense and they shoot a three and they get an offensive rebound. And, you know, so those are those are things that we're going to go back and watch the film, get back. We'll get better. And uh, I'm excited for these next eight games. And, uh, you know, our goal is to get this team better, uh, to give Coach Bayheim on uh, the North Carolina game. And that's, that's what we do. Uh, 
Nothing's changing. Tom, did, did it feel natural coaching out there, or, or did you ever find yourself thinking, what would Jim do? I just probably used worse language. No, <laughs> uh, you know, you know, it, it's uh, once I got it, 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 I felt very comfortable, but. Uh, Something that I just started getting in the game. I felt like I was playing, and, and, and that was that was pretty surreal. But it, you know, it, you know, there's going to be a lot of great learning lessons. Um, but we're going to get better. We're going to get better. Coaching staff is going to get better, and <coughs> you know, hopefully, we'll be playing in March. You obviously are emotional about this. I mean, you, you've had his voice in your head. For are you going to hit the emotion thing? I'm going to try. Got me early. I'm going to try. <laughs> Last question. <laughs> <laughs> no, but you, you've had his voice in your head some way or another for a lot of years, and now you, that conversation's gone among other things. How difficult is this? Um, as much as it's an opportunity, how difficult well, is this? Well, you know, it's uh, <laughs> imagine you're all of a sudden someone came and said that you can't talk to your father for a month. And they live down the street. That's tough. <laughs> but uh, we'll get through it. A lot. And, 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 and the one thing great about him, Coach Bam is one of the greatest people when dealing with adversity. And, uh, as a coach, uh, coaching my first game is not the most ideal situation, but <laughs> it is what it is. I would love to be able to call him and ask him what he thought as a mentor. Now my brother's going to call me and say, What the hell are you doing? <laughs> Yeah, I did this, and you didn't have that line up in. <laughs> we saw a lot from day one tonight. You know, for the first time in a while. What did you see from him 